All right, guys, so lately I've been looking at different WRX forums, and I had a school project in graphic design where they gave us free run to do whatever we wanted as long as we had a goal. Um, and my goal was to create a yardage book and map out my home course just to make my own yardage book and just so I could actually have something unique. And the working draft, as you can see, is this right here. I do not have any yardages in it, and I do not have the greens photoshopped out to photoshop the people out yet. Um, that will not take long, to be honest with you. I'm almost done, and I will include all steps in this tutorial just to help you guys out and save you guys time if you want to make a yardage book. Um, so to begin, what you're going to need is you're going to need Google Earth, uh, W Illustrator, and Photoshop are the programs that I use. I mean, you could do it with uh, Google Maps. You can do it with different things like that, like maps.live and take screenshots or pictures, but I just feel like Google Earth is the easiest to use and the, uh, most user-friendly. So to begin, what you're going to do is you're going to pull up the course that you want to like just make a yardage book of, and you want to get the hole that you want, zoom in, and make it as big as you can. What this will do is it will get the best quality picture uh, possible with the hole. So also what you want to do is you want to make sure you're directly on top of the hole. If not, when you go to resize it and reposition it in the yardage book, you could actually distort the image, which would be very bad because you're trying to have an accurate yardage book. So what you want to do is rather than um, taking a picture through Google Earth, which would be like right here and save image, you do not want to do that. You want to take a screenshot, which on PC would be, all you have to do is hit print screen, which is normally above the backspace, and it takes a screenshot of the image. And then from there, you want to go into Photoshop and paste the image into a artboard. As you can see, the image is um, pretty good quality. You don't really have to worry about that yet. So besides that, the next step is to go into your tools and click on the magnetic lasso tool. And what this does is you can see I'm just dragging along the outside of the hole and it's actually going to create a layer of the outside of the hole and it will help me trim and cut this out of the big image so I can put it in the yardage book. So right here you can see it made an outline. Then from there you want to go to select refine edge and smooth 100%. And as you can see, it's starting to look like a yardage book as far as the quality wise. Um, but to make it look a lot better, you want to add some feather. I'd say 4 to 10% makes it look really nice. And also, sorry that it's not that smooth during like the cutout because I'm rushing. Normally, I take my time positioning the magnetic lasso tool to make it really smooth and nice. But anyway, so once you hit OK, it'll bring it back to the full image. And all you have to do is hit cut, and it takes the image out. Then from there, I'm going to get into the setup of your actual yardage book. And what you want to do is you want to open up a artboard or a template. And you want to just make it a good like width and height for you. Some people like big yardage books so they can fit in your pocket. Um, like, and they won't fall out. Some people like smaller ones so they can barely tell they're there in their pocket. So uh, my like standard length that I've been using is 4 by 5 inches. And I have 40 artboards because, just think of it, if there's... Um, 18 pictures of the holes and there's 18 pictures of the greens you have 36 so you want to cover page and maybe a few extra pages to put notes or other stuff in so I put 40 artboards and you select OK and now I'm going to get into positioning the hole on the yardage book so I'm going to go to edit and then paste and you can see you have this image but it's way too big so first off I'm gonna rotate the image I'm sorry, I'm failing right now. Wow. There we go. I'm sorry about that. So from there, you have it positioned in the correct manner. And to keep the aspect ratio, which would be to keep it looking the same and not distorted, you want to hold shift and then drag the arrows. As you can see, it kept it very nice and I'm starting to get in position to actually make this fit into the artboard so as you can see right here I have it fitting in the artboard and the next step would be to get it properly aligned and what I do with mine is I actually use graphs to just go in and make sure I have the perfect line from the uh, just from the tips and make sure that it's dead in line so I can put like a wind chart. My next step in my actual yardage book, as you can see, I'm almost done other than doing a few minor details, including yardage, would be to put a wind chart right here, or not a wind chart, a, uh, a uh, compass chart on the right so it'll help me when I know the wind direction. Um, so yeah, so once you get into that, all you want to do is you want to repeat this. 
I'd say just, I mean, if you want to go through every hole you can like I did, if not, it's no big deal. Um, the most important aspect, I think, of this entire yard book, though, if you know the course well already, would be the green chart, which will help you in tournaments of a course. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to go and get a good picture of the green. And then from there, you want to take a screen capture again. Print screen to get a screen capture. And then you want to go to Photoshop and do the same exact process again. If you give me one second to delete this image. And you want to paste this image in here. And then you want to take the magnetic lasso tool. And for this one, being precise doesn't really matter. So you surround it. You do not need to do the refine edge on this because it'll be cropped out anyway. And then you want to cut. And then you want to paste it in. Give me one second here, guys. Okay, you can see this image is way too big. So what you want to do is you want to shrink this image down to fit. And then what you should do is, like my normal, my first yardage book for this course, I used round templates. So what you want to do is you want to go to the ellipse tool and make a circle as big as you want. It's all up to you. And then before you go and crop it, you want to make sure you have the image aligned to where it would as if you were coming straight from the fairway. So I'm going to align this here pretty close to what it would look like if you were coming from the fairway. And then from there, what you want to do is you want to actually make the circle or make the image behind fit the circle. And I just lost my circle. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second here. And Adobe Illustrator is screwing with me right now. There we go. Arrange, send to back. And I am having trouble with this right now, guys. I am very sorry. Um, so what you can do to help you with this task is to make this, like, increase the stroke value, which makes it actually um, stand out. And again, just position the green and make it so it fits inside the circle. pretty close here okay so now I have the green as close as I would get it just to like mock it up and what you want to do is you want to select both of them and then go to make clipping mask and what that does is it trims the image down into a circle and as you can see I messed up a little here but it's just because I'm rushing uh, but other than that the layout as far as what I made here all of these are, these are boxes and circles of different colors just to basically make a good layout. Just so you can see, um, I have the yardages and the par on here. Just basically come up with something that's your own. And also I put a scorecard in here. Probably the last things I have to do on this actual yardage book are to crop out or Photoshop these people out of the image, which is not hard. Um, and then put the yardages in. So that's as simple as text putting text in and then putting dots to where the uh, um, yardage is too. So I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions and if you want to see all the steps included in this video again, I will put them in the forum below. Thanks, guys.